What's going on YouTube? This is Big Pencil coming at you again with a nut. Got another gun review for you today. I know I've done one on a gun like this already, but this one's a little bit different. It is another Remington 1100 Magnum 12 gauge. This one has the 30 inch full choke vent rear barrel on it versus the other one I had it had the uh, plane barrel on it. You know, I liked it so much, but I love the vent rear barrel on these guns. You know, I, I, it just fits me a little bit better than the other one does. And so I, I wanted to pick me up one. I got this one, I bought it off a gun broker. And uh, I got a really good deal on it, you know, for as good a condition it's in. I paid a pretty good price for it. But uh, I'll give you a close up of the whole thing. You know, that's the, you know, the stock. I'll show you the one defect it had on it whenever I got it. Whenever I show you the whole thing here. But it's a really nice, nice shotgun. You know, it's uh, in a really good condition. It's got, you know, of course, the brass bead on the end of it. Or the bead, you know. I don't know exactly if that's brass or not, but, you know. These have always been really beautiful guns. And they're built like tanks. You can't hardly, you can't hardly tear them up. But the only problem it had with it was when I was, and I seen it on the pictures, but they had a piece glued in here, you know, it was a piece of the stock. Right there, it, it chipped out of the inside there, you know, the inside of the little cap. It doesn't really hurt anything. There's no splintering or cracking or anything anywhere around it. So, you know, it's not really going to hurt it or anything. It's just cosmetics. But uh, that was the only problem this gun had with it. And, uh, you know, the inside looks real good. Everything's good and you're good and tight on it. But uh, I wanted to show you this gun. And we're going to shoot some buckshot out of it. We're only going to shoot one because it's too hard to find this stuff. I actually managed to find some gold. I found some Winchester, some 3-inch 15 pellet double lock. It's the first time I've had a, a new pack of Winchester buckshot in my hand in probably a year and a half now. I hadn't had none in a long time. And... Yeah, you know, I managed to find some online the other day and ordered, and you know, they limit you to five boxes, but I, I went ahead and bought five boxes, you know. And uh, I, 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 I've shot some Federal three inch out of this thing, one of the reloads that I got, and I shot a couple two and three quarters out of it, and it done pretty good with those, but uh, I want to try some, some Winchester out of it and see how it's going to do. Because, you know, I, I would rather shoot Winchester out of it if I can find them, you know. Remington would probably be next and then Federal would be my my last choice, but Federal is good buckshot I just would prefer the wind for some reason Winchester and Remington's always pattern better for me and my guns Versus the Federal, but it does do the job But uh, we're gonna load up some I got a pizza box down at about 40 yards We're gonna pop one round at it and see what she does stand by we're gonna pop a shot all right, let's load him up here. I'm actually gonna lean up on my shed here to shoot this round, because I don't want to pull the shot. The buckshot too hard to come by, so I'm gonna prop up on the shed here just to make sure I make sure I get it right in the center. All right, let's see what we got. That's what we got. That's outstanding. Right there in the center, I had the bead right there. See, it evenly dispersed them all around. Let's see exactly what we got here. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. See, 14 out of 15 in a pizza box. About 45, 40, 45 yards, roughly, around in there. Can't ask for no better than that. That's why you always make sure you pattern your guns when you, you, know, when you get something, a different shell, because I guarantee you just about every one of them will pattern a little different. And out of every gun you shoot them through. You know, that plain barrel gun that I got, it actually patterned just about everything I put in it. I mean, it patterned it you know, pretty consistent, pretty tight patterns throughout every shell I put in it. You know, all of them. Remington, Winchester, Federal, 
reloads, two and three quarter, three inch, triple alt, double alt, all of them pattern pretty close to being the same. But, uh, you know, they all done real well. And uh, so far, this one here is doing pretty good with everything, too. You know, it really liked them two and three quarter triple lots that I got. I got a few of those. I shot one of them out of it, and it done outstanding with it. I mean, it, you better have it on him because it's going to be like a rifle if he's anything with, within 30 yards. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that. That, uh, that Winchester does pretty good out of these guns. You know, but that's a look. This is more than likely what I'm going to be running dogs with this year for the most part. You know, I'll probably shoot this one and that other Magnum that I got in there. And uh, I actually got a two and three quarter gun, like the uh, a plain barrel gun that I'm going to be shooting birds with. I've been playing around with it a little bit. I really, really like it too. I'd actually like to get me a vent rib gun just like it, you know. But uh, uh, that'll come in time. That was it. It's hot. It's hot outside. It's 90 something degrees out here today. The sun's beaming right in my face. This is Big Pencil, and we will be back with another one soon. <laughs>